Hey y'all, it's just Kathy here from Guide to Higher Vibrational Living. And um, I have been having a great weekend. I hope you guys have been too. Uh, I actually spent a day yesterday off of social media altogether. I mean, I work on social media pretty much every day, all week. And I find that it's important to disconnect for a while. There's a lot of very negative things that, that happen on social media. Um, and there's a lot of really negative energy there. So, you know, I try to disconnect as much as I can and really do encourage you guys to do the same. Uh, one of the things that kind of came out of that was I spent some time yesterday in meditation and, you know, I spent some time reading and just spent some time connecting with my own heart center and, you know, connecting with my body and tuning in. And um, I always recommend people do that too. It's it's really great to get that internal feedback. And sometimes we're so overwhelmed by the clutter and chaos in the world around us that it's easy to forget to check in with ourselves. But... <clears throat> One of the things that came out of all of that was just some thoughts that I kind of wrote down. And here's one of the things that, that I wrote um, that I think is really a, such an important message. And it's this idea of a perception of perfectionism. And here's what I wrote. It says, we live in a society today that is focused on the perception of perfection. If you just scroll through social media, I mean, pretty much any day, you can see tons of evidence of that because it's, it's everywhere. So society has made it not only acceptable, but expected that we live our lives behind a mask. People don't want to see all of the imperfections, they don't wanna see the flaws. And in fact, people can even put up these quote unquote perfect images online and still find that they're being criticized by others for not being perfect enough, which is kind of crazy if you think of it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So what happens is we wind up wearing this mask and pretending that our lives are just sunshine and rainbows and everything is perfect um, we pretend like we don't make mistakes or exp experience failure. And it's really not true. It's a very superficial way of living and it's not authentic. As a result, we as a society have become terrified of making mistakes. We've become terrified of failure. We are so living a life where we are looking to that external validation and approval from others that we aren't living a life for who we truly are. Here's the thing, we need mistakes and failures. It is in those moments when we make those mistakes and have those failures that we make bad choices that we're forced to face those and learn and grow. Um, truthfully and honestly, I have made plenty of mistakes. I have had plenty of failures in my life. I will continue to have them. But for me, I have learned to not only embrace them, but become very grateful for those things in my life because they have led me to becoming who I am today. And I really actually like who I am now. I like the person that I'm becoming. I continue to grow. I continue to expand my consciousness. I continue to, you know, to work on, um, on, on being the most authentic version of myself that I can be. And so... We need those moments. You know, when it comes to the imperfections and the flaws, you know, we, we need those as well. Those are, those are the things that make us uniquely who we are. Absolutely. You know, those are the things, your flaws make you uniquely you. Why would you want to attempt to be somebody other than who you are? They set you apart from the rest of the world. And there is such beauty in the imperfection and the flaws. I mean, just go outside and look at nature around you. You can see a flower that is imperfect, but it still is beautiful. And there is no imperfect flower that has caused their imperfection to, um, to make it shrink from the world. It doesn't, it, it still blooms. It still blooms to, to show its imperfect beauty to the world, you know? so. Those things are so important. You know, we, we need to stop. Uh, we need to stop being afraid of our imperfections and embrace them. We need to stop being afraid of making mistakes and, and feeling like, you know, we need to show a perfect self to the world. By the way, that's one of the reasons why I'm not wearing makeup doing this video. 
Um, you know, a big part of learning self-love is being willing to recognize those imperfections, those flaws. Not only accept them, but learn to love them because they are a part of who you are. It's also learning to have gratitude for the mistakes that you make and the times that you failed. You know, once you can learn to see the beauty in those moments, your life will really start to transform. They bring such amazing, profound lessons. Uh, I've had incredible aha moments because of um, the failures and mistakes in my life, the bad choices I've made. Um, I can now see the beauty in the imperfection that is me. When you learn to do that, when you learn to allow your own imperfect beauty to shine through, the world is going to become an even greater place because of that. So work on that. Do the work you need to do to get in touch with that and see how your life begins to transform. Sending y'all tons of love and just high vibe and energy today. Have a beautiful Sunday, my friends.